Are you here for the Christmas? Perhaps here for the Hanukkah? No matter how you celebrate your chaos this winter, I just ask that you please wear it. Do it with this official Illumation hoodie based off my character. Look, Mom, I look like me now. If that's too much, how about this cool shirt made by my friend Kit? If you buy the shirt, a portion of it goes to Holly, and maybe you'll share it with Kit. <laughs> Do you have a bunch of keys from a bunch of old apartments like me? Well, you can put it on an Illumation lanyard. And it comes with a gummy. And if you're here for more of the refined chaos, you can get this Illumation enamel pin set. Happy holidays from old Saint Nick Gilius and Luigi the Mustached Reindeer. And to all, a good night. Thank you so much. All merch sales directly support me and the channel, so check the link in the description to find it. Well, Luigi, the tower isn't really a great card. See, the lightning bolt signifies that... Is someone knocking? Ah. Ah. Oh, bow chicka bow wow. Wait a minute. Shouldn't y'all be in church? Mommy. Huh? Mommy, please. Jesus Christ, y'all should really be in church. Bad apartments, they're everywhere. Just like the dog poop your neighbors leave on display in the sun. But like the old saying goes, you get what you pay for. And when you're in college with a monthly budget of ramen noodles and pizza rolls, you don't get much. So when I was in art school, my three friends and I found the best place we could afford. An apartment close to campus, two bed, two bath, for all four of us to share for only 500 a month each. For context, that's actually a pretty good deal in California. And honestly, it was a terrible place to live. The website was suspiciously down every time rent was due, the dishwasher fell out of the wall, and when our apartment became infested with ants, we were told, Did you try ant spray? But that was a long, long time ago, and I really hope they're doing better. I mean, I highly doubt it, but anyway. The biggest problem I had with this place is something no tenant or landlord would ever be able to control. The absolute worst neighbors. One day while I was in class, my roommates texted me saying we got an eviction notice and we knew there had to be some kind of mistake. We paid our rent and the late fee on time. We've never interacted with our neighbors before because we just moved in. Well, apparently one of the neighbors told the office we were having loud parties every night since we moved in. So we got a note on our door saying, if you receive one more noise complaint, you will be evicted. So instead of checking these claims to see if they were true, they're just gonna evict us. <laughs> Thankfully, we were not evicted, but I for one was really nervous that our neighbor would make it happen. Now, if you're thinking, golly, I hope these people didn't have kids. I'm with you there, buddy. But guess what happens when two idiots love each other very much? They make a tiny, slightly smaller idiot. So for some quick context, the complex was right next to a very busy street. So for everyone's safety, there was this big fence. We'd also get frequent emails from the office begging parents to send their kids to play in the pool or the dog park because these kids like to play in the parking lot. And who doesn't watch for cars? Kids. So who came this close to being convicted of vehicular manslaughter? Not me, my roommate. But, but it was very scary. The kid just came out of nowhere. One day, the crazy parents finally told their crazy kids not to play in the parking lot. Great. One problem though, they missed the part about where else to play. Because one day, as I was chilling in my living room, I see this. Yeah, mom, I'm doing good. The apartment's, oh my God, the kids. You have kids? No, mom, mom the kids that we almost hit with the car, they're, they're climbing the fence now. Wait, what do you mean? What, what kids, whose kids? I, I, I don't know, mom, 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 what do I do? I took pictures and emailed management, and later that day, they sent out an email telling parents not to let their kids climb the fence to play in the busy street. I wish I was joking. Now let's test our knowledge here. What do idiot kids grow up to become? Idiot teenagers. One night, we're all chilling in our rooms when we hear, It's my fault that you held on to this five months. No, let go. It's so much. Just think we're getting on his fruit flies, you stupid. I am gonna t you. I look at my roommate. She looks at me. I look at the clock. And I'm thinking, oh, hell no. One, I have an exam tomorrow that I did not study for. So future Alyssa needs to wake up early to cram. Two, this commotion was probably what our crazy neighbor thought was coming from us. So if someone doesn't step in soon, we are gonna get the noise complaint and we are gonna get evicted. And three, that was a threat. We should probably call the police. By this time, our roommates in the other room are up too and tell us this fight is happening right below their room. So we go into their room and start listening in while we wait for the police. 
but the police don't come. An hour passes and these people are at each other's throats. We can hear them throwing things, banging the ceiling, shaking the walls, so we call the police again. Out our window, we see two guys in blue show up and walk to the wrong door. And as some dude in his underwear is talking to the cops, we hear, no, let's go. And sure, we could have exited our apartment and hoped the bloodthirsty people below us wouldn't mind us snitching on them. But in the event that the attempted murder turned out to be just a murder, snitching was not a risk we were willing to take. Eventually, we see the cops mosey on over to the correct door, and wouldn't you know it, two teenage girls, barely old enough to drive, open the door. Hi, officer. Hi there. We've been receiving multiple noise complaints from this unit. Is everything okay? Um, we had a fight. And my roommates and I were flabbergasted. Look, I get it. Siblings argue and siblings fight. Maybe you and your brothers throw down like WWE wrestlers. But, jeez. Can you chill? Thankfully, the police shared our feelings and lectured the girls on how they're worrying everyone, there's a better way to discuss disagreements, and they're old enough to know better. The cops leave, and finally, it's quiet. Until their mom comes home. And I swear to God, these teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> you will not believe who showed up. What? Who? The police! <laughs> yeah, people heard us arguing, so they called the cops on us. <laughs> I'd like to think that conversation led to another rightful lecture on not threatening each other. But by the way the girls were acting, I highly doubt that. So with that, thank you for watching my videos. Teenagers scared the living shit out of me. And as always, stay safe. I would I never, ever, ever thought that uh, my voice acting career would take me to moan and say mommy. And my neighbors are gonna hear it. My neighbors are gonna make a video about me moaning mommy. What if that's why your neighbors are doing that? Because they're recording lines for somebody. <laughs> it's like a cycle. <laughs>